When you guys came in here today and you did all the art and everything else around here and everything else, it, it kind of brings it back to the feeling of a club and it's an investment in art and you can see all the various artists coming in doing the bits and pieces and it's a real hybrid eclectic mix of artists, musicians, filmmakers and all that. Um, I think what you put on the screen is great, right? Okay, and clearly people want to watch it because I've seen, I mean, no disrespect intended, but you have been back loads of times and you brought loads of people. And you bring a cool crowd, right? And therefore you must be very hip. Um, but I've been hanging around with you too long. Well, I don't know, but I, I like, for me, I like the association, the merging of souls, of kindred spirits and everything. And it's very much like a, you've created your own club strangely around your own movie big question i want to i wanted to ask you mark because you've you you know the scene you know the game man and a lot of people tell me that you know, this edge has been lost in this country yeah. at times in the music and and the art scene the well, film scene and you've been there seen what is it that's missing and why is this perhaps refreshing well, to you this is the film version of the death of the x factor right okay when people created pop idol and the x factor and everything else you you know you get all these people that could sing they couldn't necessarily write a song they couldn't but they could sing and they could perform and the word x factor is has they got it on the stage right okay a lot of us can perform a lot of those x factor winners are now performing on cruise ships right doesn't make them bad people or anything else but they were never going to be pop stars because pop and rock stars and people who have the genuine x factor have the ability to perform to sing to write uh, to get people to buy into their whole thing, you know, that's why a Lady Gaga and everything will be around as against um, One Direction not, right, okay. What I think you've managed to do, and this used to happen back in the days of when I first knew you in the eight, when everyone popped up doing films, generally it was just about gangsters killing each other, right, I mean, our wonderful friend Tamar Hassan, he was absolutely he's still doing it, right, he's made a whole career out of it, it's fantastic, I see him all the time. And, and then, then there's the other side that went off and went way deep, dark and arty, which really, it's a bit like sushi, isn't it? You know what I mean? If you want to see, you know, dwarfs killing naked women with big hairy bushes, right? Okay. And it's art. It's, well, exactly. Probably one of the people that got killed. Um, but um, th then you could go down there and there's nothing wrong with that. It's like back in the day when we used to have the clubs and the S&M, but people do that sort of stuff, but it's a niche. And it's a very clever thing to film something that could be mainstream, but it's done with a bit of love and a bit of respect and a bit of belief and everything and not just about money. Listen, we all have to make money and in the end, you'd, you'd, we'd all like it to make money. But I think you've created the, um, the version of the, the new young band that became the Beatles. Right, let's hope it happens to you. No further questions, Your Honour.